This new feature in GrabCAD Print will help customers find and match their desired colors easier and faster. In this tutorial, we will review finding the color swatch tool, color models, color swatch settings, and generating your own color swatch. To find the color swatch tool, first move your mouse to apps at the top and click on color swatch tool. This will bring up the tool where you can make a number of selections. To start, there are multiple color models that exist. Some of the most common models are RGB, CMYK, X, and HTML. GrabCAD Print accepts all of those models. Now down in the color box, you can either type in your target color or copy and paste the color you've already selected. Once you do that, the tool will automatically generate 63 similar colors. This tool also allows you to manipulate the variance of the generated colors. You can choose to input a custom value for each setting or use the slider to the right next to them. While altering these settings, your options for color may change, but the original color can always be found within the generated swatch. Moving down from the color box, we have the option to manipulate the saturation. This alters the intensity of the derived colors. Right below that, we can change the brightness, which alters the light or darkness of the derived colors. Making changes to the hue alters the shade of the derived colors and makes it more red, green, blue, or yellow. Changing the transparency manipulates how opaque or transparent the entire swatch will become. When you've finished making your options, simply click on the Create button at the bottom then the swatch will generate on your respective tray. You can then print this swatch and match it to the color of your original color sample, like the part I have here on this tray. Now I made this swatch because I'm trying to match and find the right color blue for this speaker. Moving down to the color swatch we just created, we can see the color that was chosen as a base. It is the only color block with the hex value written on top. Clicking on any of the other color blocks shows what color it is within the model settings. You can see the placement on the color picker, the hex, RGB, CMYK, and HSLA. From there, you can save the color to favorites like any other selection for your parts. That being said, this color of blue actually looks really close to the original. I'll find out for sure once I print out this swatch.